Okay friends, in this video we're gonna be looking at Echoes' Gdansk outro solo. It's kind of a conversation between David Kilmore and Rick Wrights. May God rest his soul. So without further ado, let's start this tutorial. Okay, so this is very hard to play without a backing track, so I hope I don't make any mistakes. If I do, just follow the tabs, okay? Okay, so after the Phantom of the Opera... Now... You're gonna be playing C sharp minor. And if you wanna learn how to play Phantom of the Opera, just check out this video. So after this... You gotta be patient, okay? This song requires a lot of patience. You have to wait your turn to play, okay? Now... G sharp minor. And now you're gonna pick the third and fourth string, okay? You hear this? Actually, it's fourth and sixth, okay? Now F sharp minor. Okay, you're gonna wait your turn. Now... Now actually the solo starts, okay? You're gonna slide to the C-sharp minor pentatonic. Okay, you're gonna do something like this. You're gonna be very patient. I can't stress this enough. Now... Okay, Rick Wright's playing his keyboards and you have to play with the tempo. 
You hear this? You're gonna mute it. Then you're gonna play something like this. You're gonna bend the 12 and then mute it. 11th and 9th. Okay? On the G and B string. Now, we're gonna do something like this, okay? Let's play this from the start, very slow, just uh, play it with me, just practice with me. C sharp minor, G sharp minor. Now, pick the third and fourth strings, F sharp minor. Now, G sharp. Major, G sharp major. Now we're gonna slide to uh, 11th. Rick Wright's playing. You're gonna hear how Rick plays and play according to that. Now, the new part that we learned. Okay, now we're gonna slide here. Okay, you hear this? Okay, now... We're gonna do something like this. This is my edition, if you can play it if you want. Okay, this goes well with the uh, Rick Wright's keyboard, okay? So what I did here is just that... You hear this? This is kind of the same. Now... Okay? Okay, let's play what we played. Okay, practice to tell this part. If you can't master this part yet, don't go further. Now... Okay. You're gonna slide to the 11th on A. And 9th, 9th, 11th. What I like to do here is just pull off here. That's actually a bad habit of me. I pull off a lot. It's all up to you. Now, we're gonna play something like this, okay? Just pick and vibrate. Then you're gonna move on to the 10th, move down to the 10th. Uh, but uh, this vibrato here is very important, okay? Then you're gonna play this. Now... Okay, we're gonna play something like this. Let's play to this part again. Now, now what you're gonna pick this again, but you're gonna do a little. You hear this? You're gonna be pre bending. You're gonna pre bend it twice actually. Actually, this is gonna sound uh, much, much, much better with a delay. So, without delay, uh, you're gonna get a little confused with this tutorial, but. I assure you, I'm going to explain everything you need to know. Then you're going to slide down. Now we're going to be playing one of the better licks in the solo. Okay. You 
gonna repeat, kind of repeat what Rick Wright's playing actually. What you're gonna do is pull out the 11, catch the uh, 12 on B string, but you gotta play with the tempo here, okay? You don't wanna sound like something like this, okay? You gotta be patient, okay? Now, I highly recommend you use your finger here. <laughs> no, seriously, Kaz's mom says Kaz's getting really good at fingering. <laughs> okay. Then you're gonna do something like this. Let's play this sequence again. Okay, awesome. So let's play part one from start to finish and then move on to the second part. Now we're going between keyboard and guitar on the mix. Rick and David actually playing the same thing, but uh, they're waiting each other to finish that bar, okay? So what you gotta play is... You're gonna play the 14, 11, 12, and then slide to 16. And to finish the bar, you're gonna pick the 14 again. What you started. Now, after this, you're gonna play it two times. Now on the third, you're gonna be picking 16. And then, okay. Okay, now, You're gonna be picking the 12, uh, bending the 12. On the new bars. You can do something like this. I play just a little different than the original on my uh, cover actually, and I'm gonna teach you how I tapped, but you can very well uh, just alternate how you wanna play. You can just improvise and add your licks too. What I play here is. I just climb down the scale, okay? I mean, Meaning from the pentatonic. Okay. I do something like this. Very easy stuff. Now you're gonna slide to the 11th on A. But you're gonna skip the D string. And then play the 9th on G, okay? You can just pick this too. But... Muting everything sounds a little better. And then you're gonna slide to uh, 11th or from 9th on your a, a D string, okay? You're gonna be playing something like this. Now, you're gonna rake. You're gonna play this. 
What you gotta do is just... You hear this? This is a full step bend. But you gotta mute it, okay? You can't play. You can't play something like... Okay? But to have that haunting, that sad part of the solo, the feeling of the solo, you gotta play something like this. Okay? Now... You're gonna be playing something like this. What you do, what you gotta do here is just... Pick the ninth and wait. Okay? But just mute it. You hear this? I picked and muted and then played. Same thing with the 12th fish. Here, wait it again. You see? You're gonna pick or bend and then mute. Now, you're gonna slide to the 14 from 12 because we landed here. Now, but I want you to hear the 13 here too. You hear this? Okay, just like, uh, let's say we sure here. Something like this, okay? Okay? Not like... You're gonna slide to the 14. Now... Give it a little vibrato. Now, after you do this pre-bend one time, just one time, you're gonna wait and hear the delay, okay? Now, you're gonna wait here and hear the delay. It's gonna sound something like this. You hear? You're gonna be playing. And then we're gonna do something like this, okay? I don't know how many times you gotta play here, uh, just, you know, play with the tempo. But what you gotta do after these pre-bends... ...is this. This is a full and half step. And then you're gonna pick the 13 on the G string. Awesome. Let's play the second part from start to finish and then move on to the final part, okay? Okay, now, the keyboard, I mean, the Rick Wright's play this. And you're gonna be uh, following the pattern, okay? But, instead of... We're not gonna land here, we're gonna be waiting here. Okay? Now... We're gonna be playing something like this, okay? Oh my god, what a beautiful conversation. You're gonna do something like this. 14, 12, 11, 12, slide from 11 to 13. Okay, now... Then we're gonna move down to pentatonic scale again. 
Uh, you remember what I said about rakes? You gotta fill uh, the emptiness with rakes? You can do it here. <laughs> Again, I may play just a few notes here and there, uh, different than the original one, I mean original Gdansk recording, but like I said, you can just improv as well, just check the tabs. Very easy stuff, this is kind of a triplet. Okay, very easy stuff. Now I want you to lose the pick here again, and uh, play with your hand. Do something like this. It's gonna be a little dead. You're gonna be you're gonna be picking very lightly here, because we wanna hear the agony of the guy. Okay, I mean uh, the guy being the guitar solo. Uh, I mean since we're trying to express some feelings here, uh, we're gonna feel a little sorrow and a little pain. Okay. Okay. You don't have to hear everything, but what I play here is just from 9 to 8, from 8 to 6, now you're gonna bend in full step, and then move on to the 5th, move down to the 5th, now on the new bar, okay. Now, I want you to take your pick again, don't throw it away like I did, just put it on your palm. Now comes my favorite lick of maybe all times. What a sad, sad lick. You're gonna be peer bending the 11th, but a half step of course. Very easy stuff. Now. We're gonna do something like this. Don't forget this. Now. What I do here is just... Now. You can play something like this or... Or something like this, whichever you wanna uh, play. <laughs> okay, let's play this very sad riff again. Lick, I mean. Now. Now. Awesome. Now we're gonna bar the top two strings, uh, top two strings on the ninth, and then do something like this. What you gotta do is just pick both of them, and then pick the B string. Okay? But you can let uh, high E ring, okay? And then slide from 12 to 11, uh, 14. Okay. We're gonna do something like this. Okay. And then do something like this. We're gonna be uh, climbing down the scale again. Like I said, I'm saying this the third time, but maybe you jumped ahead. I play a couple of notes here and there different than what David Kimmel performed, which is only natural, I mean. So the last thing we're gonna do is... We're gonna be pre-bending this, full step. You can play this too, or... Something like this. It's all. It's kind of the same, actually. Now, but we're getting a little hopeful here. But... It doesn't happen. Now... We finish here. Let's 
fifth place again. Actually, the song finishes here, but I've kept going on. You can play something like this, just play whatever you want to play, okay? Awesome. Let's play the part three from start to finish and then finish the song. I just want to say that this sounds incredibly well with the backing track that I made. I mean, just listen to my cover if you don't believe me, it sounds perfect. So you can access the almost full Gdansk Echoes tab on my Patreon with backing track and tone guide for funky and the solo and the outro solo. You can also watch this video if you're into a Gdansk main solo, which is at least one of my top 10 David Gilmour solos of all time. And if you want to learn how to play the funky guitar part, just watch this video. Don't forget to vote the next one on my Patreon and I'll see you guys again in the next video.